China has these impulses of, of um, you know, moving more and more towards a market system. But then the party gets very worried that it can't control it. You know, the party is very focused on control. It's very focused on control, all aspects of society, all aspects of the economy, business. And um, but what has moved China ahead over the years is is the market and freeing up its entrepreneurs and actually freeing up its officials around the country to come up with entrepreneurial policies that move things ahead. Um, that's what that's what made China. That's what allowed China to move ahead so fast. I've had um, uh, a friend to me described a, uh, an efficient Chinese government is like a water skier behind a boat. And the boat is the Chinese entrepreneurs and, and the ambitions and brains pulling that skier ahead. And the party being the skier can pull on the rope a little bit now and then to move to move the boat a little bit. But um, you got to let that boat run. And, China, and, and currently, China has really clamped down on its entrepreneurs, clamped down on its rich people, uh, clamped down on its large companies, um, focused on state-owned enterprise. Um, and, and look where the economy is today, the economy, and on top of that, of course, COVID. Um, and so, um, but here's, so here's, a, here's, here's a bright note. A bright note is that, um, uh, what's happening right now today, you know, you and I are talking, uh, at almost Christmas time here. Um, the, uh, the, the, uh, crisis in China over COVID, you know, the, the first off the protests against the lockdown which were spontaneous across the country and um, and now ripping off the Band-Aid and going for just open kind of almost chaos with COVID um, has forced China to kind of wake up and go, whoa, we got to we got to get back to business. We need we need we need to, to be open. And I was at the U.S. China Business Council um, uh, annual gala a couple of weeks ago in Washington. And what was quite interesting, uh, Chinese ambassador to the U.S., Qin Gong, uh, was a keynote speaker. And Qin Gong, um, you know, usually today when a Chinese official gives a speech, they in the, in the past number of years, they say Xi Jinping about 25 times. Um, this speech, I think Qin Gong said Xi Jinping three times, but he said Jiang Zeming about 25 times. Why? Because they're using, they're using Jiang Zeming the death of Jiang Zeming to say, to change the image of we're open. Remember Jiang Zeming and all of the openness and all of the goodwill and all of the things that were moving ahead. That's where we are today. They're saying, that's where we are. We're open, we're open, we're open. And um, they all the signals coming out. I mean, the party secretary at Zhejiang went to visit Alibaba two days after he got his new job as party secretary at Zhejiang. Um, you know, that's the kind of, they haven't been, you know, Jack Ma have been living in Tokyo for the last uh, five, uh, six months. Um, and um, and I was uh, I was recently in Singapore. And Singapore is flooded with wealthy Chinese from the mainland and wealthy Hong Kong people who are, who are trying to get away from China, actually, and moving their money that they, if they can, out of China. And the party has woken up, they got to stop that, and they've got to be open. And so um, I'm optimistic, at least in the short term, China is going to be much more open to foreign business and to their own entrepreneurs, because if they don't, their economy won't recover. And so um, what's the difference? Um, the difference is an economy run by the government and organized by the government and a government that is scared of, of private capital. They do not want rich people to have any political power. Um, on the other hand, America is... In some ways, we're almost too open. Uh, if you look at, I mean, look at globalization, or look at a multinationals today, American multinationals. Globalization has, has changed the way they look at America because even if they're patriotic um, and want to help America, if their biggest market share is outside of America, um, they report to shareholders. And so they have got this maudun of, you know, they want to support America, but their business is not, no longer, the core of it is in America for many of these companies. So um, very different, very different systems. Very, very, the U.S. is, you know, and, and also, um, you know, Xi Jinping is working very hard. He does not want money to have any political power in China. Um, and that's why he's clamped down on a lot of these billionaires. 
in America, we've gone the other way and we've got billionaires having huge influence in our politics because of our campaign finance. So you ask for a difference, that's one hell of a difference.